today we are talking about the new heavens and the new earth because the Bible talks about how on the last day, judgment day, God's going to destroy this earth and destroy the heavens, meaning the skies and space, and then burn it all up and make everything new. And then we get to live in the new heavens and the new earth. It'll be perfect, like the Garden of Eden. But I had, a, I had heard a question from a child your age, and I thought it was a really good question. I want you to think about it, and I want all the adults to think about this one too. In the new heavens and the new earth, Will there be caterpillars? Okay, because what happens to caterpillars? Do they stay caterpillars? No, what happens? They turn into a butterfly. And so you might wonder, well, why is pastor asking a question about caterpillars and butterflies? Well, caterpillars, to become a butterfly, they eat a lot. They will eat milkweed leaves, and then after they get nice and fat, then they form a cocoon, and it's kind of like they die because inside the cocoon, their body turns to goo, and then the exoskeleton that's inside of it, then that comes out and they become a moth or a butterfly, depending on what kind of caterpillar it is. So it's a really good question by, the, by that child because there's suffering, there's pain involved for that caterpillar to become a butterfly. And we know that in the new heavens and the new earth, there's not going to be any pain or suffering. That's a good question, isn't it? And I'm talking about that because that child realizes that there's pain and suffering here. You guys have pain and suffering because you're sinners. And then we're living in, among sinful people. We have sinful people in our homes and sinful people in our schools. There's even sinful people in our church. And even the world is filled with sinful people. And the world itself, the Bible says, it is groaning with pain. But that's why Jesus came. When Jesus lived his perfect life, when he died his death on the cross, he paid for all of the sins of the world. He even bought back this sinful world to make it new. And then because he rose from the dead, he gives us the promise that one day we will be saints in his new heavens and the new earth. And maybe that's when we have to wait to heaven and the new heavens and the new earth to ask Jesus and look around to see if there's caterpillars, if there's only butterflies, or if there's both. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity raised by one child's question. Understand, it's good for all of us, no matter our age, to ask questions. And sometimes your Bible is able to answer them, and sometimes we have to wait until later to answer the questions, and that's okay. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to talk about our sin today and how we will be perfect as saints in heaven. Lord, we ask you to keep these children and all of us in our baptismal faith to keep us saints now until we are wearing our white baptismal gowns as your saints in the new heavens and the new earth. In your name we pray. Amen. We continue.